Hey everyone, how's it going? I uh, just thought I'd do a quick tip on, for those of you that use a MIG and use FlexCore, um, I have a MIG, I use FlexCore, I use both, I swap back and forth. First thing I'm gonna say is don't use crappy flex wire. Use Lincoln, Hobart's good too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of other flex cores, but definitely get a brand name and my recommendation is use Lincoln. This is .030, which I use the most. Uh, I keep flux core set up in my machine almost all the time, unless I'm doing body panels on cars, because it's just quick. No need to turn on the gas, no need to worry about forgetting you turn to turn off the gas, and then coming back and finding you're out of gas, developing the least, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, so when you're welding with flux core, you don't need the MIG shield on, so you can take it off, which allows you to see better, to get into better spots. But if and if you only use them, your, your gun with flex core, that's fine. You don't worry about the, the gas holes or any of this getting all dirtied up. But if you do switch back and forth, you'll want to protect this. And Lincoln sells, and I'm sure other companies do, but Lincoln Electric has a flex core MIG nozzle. And it says for Magnum 100L MIG gun. Um, and it's cheap. It was like $8 Canadian at Home Depot, which is virtually free in US dollars. And so it just fits on in place, but if you'll notice, it leaves a gap. And, but the nice tip allows you to see everything and get in there. So what I did to cover that gap was I took one of these red wire nuts, you know, the kind you electricians use to install stereos in cars. Don't do that. I just took this little, little saw here, cut it in half, or cut the end off, cleaned it up with a knife, and it fits perfectly over there. And covers it up. You can trim off the little wings if you want. To me, it doesn't matter. It just, it protects the, the threads on the, the MIG gun and the, allows it to sit perfectly flush with the tip of the gun so you can see better and it works perfect. Keep your, your nozzle for when you switch back to gas and in the meantime, use this. Uh, I just find I use flex core all the time in the garage. It's good for quick tacks or whatever, you know, as long as I don't need pretty welds or something that's really thin, something. I use a, a stick welder a lot, but, but this is handy for just quick little repair jobs on stuff. So yeah, so that's my tip of the day. Get the Lincoln Electric flex core, red wire nut, cut the end off and it fits perfectly between the, the gun and the tip. The tip's on there good and allows you to get in there. That's about all I have to say for now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next video.